Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Aura. If you're new here, let me introduce myself. I'm a medical intern. I like to write in my blog, but to reach a bigger audience, I decided to create videos for my fellow aspiring and surviving medical students. But I've been told that my previous videos all have content that are actually applicable to everyone. So I hope no matter who you are or what you do, you find my stuff interesting. And if you do, just to get this out of the way, please comment, like, subscribe, and please share this video to your friends. And okay, game. Ito na. I've been getting a lot of emails, Instagram messages, comments on my channel and my blog. At the Aura, it's always been my dream to become a doctor just like you. Kaso lang, blah 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 blah. I hope in this video I can help you address those issues, those barriers, those reasons, those excuses as to why you're not going for medicine even if you say that's always been what you've wanted. Ayan, so mas encouraging tayo ngayon. Come join the club. Welcome to medicine. This is why you can do it too. <laughs> Number one, most common. At the aura, I really want to be a doctor but I suck at math. I suck at science. I don't get chemistry. Biology is just killing me. What I have to say about that is even if you're not good at those science and math subjects right now it doesn't mean that you're not gonna get better at it maybe you find those subjects hard so you just have to put in more effort you have to challenge yourself to really study and you can do it as in it can be done you want to know why because I myself sucked at algebra like, what? Totoo ba yan? if it's not tangible if I can't visualize it or hold it it's not real I don't want to study it that was my attitude before and that's why I sucked at those subjects because if you haven't noticed your behavior is just a reflection of your thoughts likewise your abilities and your skills are just a reflection of how you perceive yourself Totoo yun. so stop thinking that you suck at those subjects because you're really going to suck every time you see an exam you're just already convinced oh, I'm not gonna do well in this subject because I suck at it. And honestly, in medicine, there's not a lot of vague, abstract concepts and computations. And mostly, it's tangible stuff. Like, okay, this is the body. You can hold it. It's real. It's not a made-up concept of like theory of relativity and stuff like that. Change your mind about it. Change your habits. Challenge yourself. You can do it. There is nothing you can't learn. Ito pa, this is funny. A lot of people think they want to be a doctor but are just gonna back out because they hate blood, they hate needles, they're scared of bodies, and they just can't stand bodily fluids. Well, tatao rin yan. Because even for me, ugh. Oh gosh, I remember the first time we had to dissect a body. Gross anatomy class. That was the first time I saw a dead body and I was just screaming inside. But I got over it after like 10 minutes. Although honestly, right now, I still don't feel so good about like handling needles and seeing like gushing blood or broken bones especially. But again, I get over it. I don't avoid it. It's my job. If you have like a sort of fear or disgust or you're just uncomfortable with those things that you have to do as a doctor, that that's just temporary. With enough exposure, you'll get over it and you'll be proud of yourself because it's actually a skill and at this point, nothing is just gross for us anymore. Um, na lang may mask. Um... Okay, something more serious and understandable is when someone forgoes medicine because they're already too old. Well, some people in my college started med school at their late 20s and 30s. And what I noticed with those people is that they are actually the ones who are more mature, more responsible, more driven because they are so sure that medicine is what they are willing to work hard for. And another thing, did you know that it's only in medicine where I think it's an advantage to be older because yes it's impressive that oh you're so young you're already a doctor but in the hospitals when you're looking like a baby no one will trust you patients it's inevitable that they associate old age and experience to expertise that's just one way of looking at it so stop thinking that you're going to be at a disadvantage just because you've been out of school for too long you might not be as sharp as your classmates anymore because everything can be managed with enough discipline and hard work believe me if there's one person who can do that it's probably you because you're already mature and finally i don't want to call this as an excuse because it's the only valid reason actually 
dog ara, I want to be a doctor too, but it's not practical. We're not rich. It's too expensive. We can't afford it. Okay, I'm sorry. That's true. Medicine is a big financial investment. And like what I said in my previous video, I myself thought I couldn't go to med school anymore. I convinced myself that maybe I could just try other careers because medicine was too expensive. But I found a way around it. And so can you. There are more affordable med schools. Exhaust all options for a scholarship. Some are just very generous with their financial aids. You'll be surprised. Because I have lots of friends who get a completely free ride to med school. Including allowance. Just ask. Don't close the door right away. Find a way like I did. It's a big sacrifice not just for you but your family members who might be depending on you. But like what they always say, kapag gusto mo may paraan, pag ayaw may dahilan. So I hope you find a way to get over yourself, get over your excuses, and pursue what you want. That's it for now. Bye-bye. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Since I'm back in the hospital, I always post things you might want to check out to see what my day is like in the hospital. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye-bye.